My friends, in the biblical narrative, Joseph was sold into slavery by his jealous brothers and rose to become viceroy, the second most powerful figure in Egypt next to Pharaoh. Of all 12 sons, Joseph was preferred by his father Jacob. Joseph had two dreams that made his brothers plot his demise. Both dreams implying Joseph's supremacy angered his brothers who cast him into a pit and sold him into slavery to an Egyptian caravan. The story of Joseph is a plot twist of unparalleled proportions. Any movie critic would review this drama as jaw-dropping. In this week's Torah portion, Vayigash, in a regional famine years later, the brothers were sent to Egypt by Jacob to buy goods. Standing before the viceroy, they did not recognize their brother Joseph, but Joseph recognized them. Joseph is haunted by his memories, the brothers who cast him into a pit, imprisoned in Egypt, alone, abandoned, forgotten. Hurling accusations and tormenting his brothers, Joseph appears only to exact revenge. Our Torah portion relates that Joseph withdraws to his chambers, overcome by emotion, and weeps before revealing his true identity to his brothers. I respectfully suggest that in that moment of solitude, Joseph goes through a process of self-reflection, introspection, and repentance. He has chosen to make amends for his own misconduct in earlier years, taunting his brothers with his father's favoritism, his dreams of superiority, his total insensitivity, and disregard for his brother's feelings. My friends, all too often in life, we recall the instances when we were the victims. We forget those instances when we were the offenders. The refusal to accept any personal responsibility or the eagerness to blame others for what went wrong. Yes, our human tendency to avoid responsibility for our own misbehavior and malfeasance. There is a time, says Ecclesiastes, not to forget, but to forgive, to vanquish bitterness and rage. The first step is focusing the spotlight on ourselves, the courage to accuse ourselves and not others. Shabbat Shalom.